so what's up you guys I um told you I was gonna do a review on my Senegalese crochet Senegalese twist so here they are you can see them they're a little fuzzy cuz I've had them for a little bit now and um, I got them in 24 inches and I used the brand the expressions brand I will um, put a picture of it somewhere in the yeah. screen and um, so I found a little card that came with it so this is the expressions this is the little tag that comes in it that tells you like what color it is and how many inches it is so this is it expressions brand and um i got one color and a number two what how many packs did i use i used a total of seven packs and i got six packs in the color number two and one pack in this color right here that you all see is um it was a it's a two-tone 1b30 so you don't have to you don't have to comb your hair. You don't have to worry about that. And they are pretty manageable. I like them. Yes, baby, so good. <laughs> and I first uh, when I first got them, I was so happy with them. But then I started um, noticing how they were kind of like weighing on my edges. So this probably would be a con to it. Um, if you do get the do the do the crochet braids the way where you just do the cornrows then um yeah you need to be mindful of how you put them on your edges because i know my edges was cussing me out so yeah and yeah i just enjoy not having to comb my hair you know and especially since i'm trying to do this text lax thing you know it's just and it's sort of kind of like natural but it's sort of not you know what i mean so yeah um, I guess they were on the, the only two pros to it. So to do the corn roll method and it comes all the way out to your edges like this. Then you know it can kind of weight on them. I guess if you get them this long is like I did, then you know you need to be mindful of that. Um, I think I think next time I'm going to um, I'm going to do the 18 inch, which I always get the 18 inch anyway when I do individual um, braids. When I do individual braids, so I don't know what made me grab this 24 inch. I don't I don't understand it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and um, and what else? What else? What else? What else? Um. And they get kind of tangly after you wash them. I did wash them like at the two week mark. So they do get a little tangly after you wash them. That's what I've noticed since I washed them. Um, I guess the little hairs that stick out, they get tangled up with, with each other. And um, after, okay, so let me tell you about my scalp. So I think it didn't start itching to like after a week and some days. And, um, so I got the um, the Cantu root relief, and I just rubbed it all through my scalp, and that kind of helped it a little bit. And then I started using the Sulfur Eight Braid Spray, and um, and that was that was helping because I kind of get like these um, scabs on it. If I can't get to my my scalp and wash it good enough, like. If it's over a week, then it, it starts developing like wow. on the sides, like scabs. I don't yeah. understand why. I think I have some type of um, condition, so I have to keep it clean. And um, when I first got them, I was using the um, I think the African Pride brand braid spray. Don't get it, y'all. Don't do it. Um, it didn't work for my scalp. I threw it away, and I went and got the uh, the apple cider vinegar can to line the root relief stuff I was talking about and then I went uh, I got the sulfur 8 braid spray let me go get it Hold on. 
So this is the root relief that I that I bought. And uh, when I when I get my when I take these down, I'ma try them on real hair too, cause you can use them. You can. Use it, you can You can use it on, you just don't have to use it with braids. You can use it like on regular hair. And then this is my sulfate braid spray that I use. And uh, every now and then I use this. The Better Braids Hair and Scalp Oil. I did use this maybe a handful of times I used it, you know, when I would see a, like a little, um, a little, um, dry spot here and there, I would, I would use it. And see, I wanted to use some type of oil on my scalp, so, that, you know, if this was just, the scalp oil was just there, so, you know, I just used it. And, um, I didn't want to use the coconut oil because I noticed when I, when I have used coconut oil in the past to greet, you know, to, um, oil my scalp, it kind of um, it kind of irritated. It. So that's the reason why I do use coconut oil. And um, let me ask y'all, what are the best oils to use on the scalp to like um, to oil it? Is it argan? I was thinking maybe argan oil or either um, maybe some tea tree oil because I told y'all about the scalp that I you know that I get in there. So um, yeah, let me know in the, in the um, comments down below what kind of oils you all use on the scalp. So, yeah, let me think. What else can I tell you all? I think that's it, but I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed them the time that I, that I have had them. Um, like I said, just I always enjoy braids when I get them. And this was a very easy method. Um, my cousin did them for me. I did not do them myself. So I couldn't give you all a step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, it took her like two hours and thirty minutes to do it. That's with the braid in my um my hair down to my hey. That's with braiding my hair down to my scalp and installing the um the twist. So yeah, I thought that was very good. Two hours and thirty minutes versus eight to ten hours of braiding, you know, your hair in individuals. So next time I think I'm gonna do individual whenever I decide to get the um the twist again so I think next time I'm gonna do like two rows of individuals around the you know the front perimeter and the rest of my hair I'm gonna do corn rows so next time I decide to get I'm gonna either do the twist next time I'm most definitely get the twist some point in time because I love the twist and um but I think I want to try the um, the dreadlocks, the Bobby Boss new locks. I kind of want to try those. So yeah, so it's either gonna be Senegalese twist or either the new locks by Bobby Boss. The Bobby Boss. <laughs> so that is my review on my crochet Senegalese twist, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye bye. You want to say bye? Bye bye. Girl, say bye. Bye.